Obsidian is an amazing tool for thought, but it's easy to miss the true creative power that's available to you because there are a lot of different ways that you can link your notes and ideas in Obsidian. In this video, I'm gonna share the key idea you really need to understand before you can unlock Obsidian and reach your true creator potential to get more out of your notes and ideas. Hi, I'm Mike Schmitz, and today I wanna to talk to you about Atomic Notes. You see, when you make a link in Obsidian by using double brackets around a note title, that's different than a standard hyperlink or even a wiki style link, which can only go one direction. So if you've got a link on note one that links to note two, Using standard links, you can navigate from note one to note two, but you can't get back again, not without a separate link on note two that takes you back to note one. But Obsidian solves this by using bi-directional links that create a two-way street between two notes when even one link exists. And this is the key to leveraging the power of the local graph. I keep my local graph in the sidebar and it updates to reflect all the incoming and outgoing links of whatever note is currently active. So this allows me to navigate my notes by starting on one note, clicking the dot for a related note, and following that chain of thought via connected notes. Doing this gives me insight into connections that I'm not able to see on the surface, and it's an immense help in my own creative process. It's not blatantly obvious, but this is a really powerful way to get your creative juices flowing. Plus, I think it's fun to browse my old notes, but it does require the internal note links to exist first. Now, in addition to the standard internal link in Obsidian, you can also transclude notes by putting an exclamation point in front of those double brackets for the note link. And this creates that link between the two notes, but it also embeds the contents of the note that you are linking in the original note. I do this all the time with my sermon sketch notes. I put the sketch note image in the note for the day, and then I transclude every Bible verse that was mentioned in the message. It embeds the contents of those verses in that sermon sketchnote file. This allows me to view the notes from a sermon, open up a verse that was used, and see all of the other notes that I've taken that mention that specific verse. This only works though if you embrace the idea of atomic notes, which are small notes that contain a single complete idea. And this concept kind of hit me as I was trying to make sense of Obsidian myself after reading one of my favorite books, Atomic Habits by James Clear. Now, in the beginning of that book, James shares a couple of definitions for the word atomic that I absolutely love. First is an extremely small amount of a thing, the single irreducible unit of a larger system. The second definition is the source of immense energy or power. And these two definitions apply perfectly to working with your notes in Obsidian, as I believe that the power generated by connecting your ideas works best when you break your notes down into the smallest component parts. Yes, you can link to headers and even blocks in Obsidian, but the thing that gets linked in the local graph is the file itself. So if you're gonna leverage the power of the local graph, you need to embrace this idea of atomic notes. Think of atomic notes as individual mental Lego bricks. Each atomic note is a single brick that you can use to make something new. And yes, those bricks likely came in a set with other bricks, for example, ideas from books that you read, but that doesn't mean those Lego bricks can't be taken and used to build something completely different. That's why when I'm done reading a book and I'm bringing my notes over into Obsidian, I always spend a few minutes going through my notes and making links to the key ideas that I want to be able to link to in the future. Sometimes these are stories that I want to remember. Sometimes they're productivity principles that I want to research a bit more. I browse through my notes and I add double brackets around anything that I feel might be useful as its own atomic note. This is kind of like opening up a new Lego set and seeing what cool pieces it contains. Each new note I create is another Lego brick that I can use to make something new. And ultimately, the act of creating is simply connecting these mental Lego bricks that you've collected over time in new and interesting ways. But it's a lot easier to do that when you've taken the time to break them down. So how do you get started making atomic notes? Well, fortunately, Obsidian makes it really easy by giving you a core plugin called the Note Composer. Once you enable the Note Composer by going to the settings, core plugins and toggling on note composer, you can simply highlight text in a longer note 
Right click and select Extract Current Selection. A pop-up opens and asks you which file you want to merge the text with, but you can also just create a new note from the highlighted text by typing the title of the file that you want to create and hitting the Enter key. Note Composer then takes that text, creates a new note out of it, and places an internal link in the original document where that text was. And in the settings for the Note Composer Corp plugin, you can choose whether you want to add a new link or embed the new file using a transclusion link instead like I do with my sermon sketch notes. So there we go. I hope I've inspired you to start making atomic notes in Obsidian on your own. And if you like this video and you want to make more of your notes and ideas, sign up for my newsletter at obsidianuniversity.com where I share more values-based productivity workflows, quick tips, templates, and resources to help you master Obsidian and add practical value to your own PKM system.